welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations DIY video. So today I shall be doing a page in my challenge journal and I will link a video to how I created this journal. Um, actually it's a playlist because there's a few videos on it. And the whole point of the challenge journal is like in each signature I'll um, use one specific medium. So at the moment I'm working with pastels both oils and chalk depending on um what i want to do on the page and then sometimes i use a reference photo um or sometimes i time myself to create the page so i'll just give you a quick flick through this is my first one i started this journal ages ago um but then i did a video asking you guys what kind of art journal videos you wanted to do and this is one of the journals i was um voted for the most so this one of the first pages, then I did this one with oils, and I really struggled with that one. Um, because I'm not used to oils, and then I did this one, this is chalk pastels as well. And then I did this one recently. Um, oh, it doesn't have the date in there, I actually have to put that in. And this is oil pastels, this one actually worked out a lot better. So I was really happy with that. And today I thought I would work um, with chalk pastels. So because I'm a little bit more confident with chalk pastels, I thought I would maybe um, like use a photo as a reference for something. And I thought I wanted to do like a feather. So I picked a peacock feather. I don't have a specific photo that I'm um, like copying from. I just have a couple photos as reference. Um, so one's like a guide on how to draw a peacock feather and another one is just so I can get like the colours kind of right. So I'll link those down below. I found those on Pinterest. And I have a few different chalk pastels. Um, this one is by C. White um, of Brighton. And that's all under like a kind of foam to protect it. And then this one is by Royal and Langnickel. These are soft chalk pastels. These are, I would say, um, the Sea White of Brighton ones are quite hard. Oh, there they are. And these are a bit chunkier. And then I have these. Now, I don't know if they're oils and I don't know if they're chalk pastels. I mean, they come across a bit chalky. I mean, because there is this like kind of foam thing in it that tends to um, stop the chalk from bashing about and like breaking. But I've used these previously, and I don't know. They just didn't act like these two that I'm used to. Um, so yeah, I maybe they're just not very good chalk pastels. I'm not too sure because I'm not as used to chalk pastels as I am, say, with like. Um, acrylics and watercolours so it's all a lot of experiment for me so yeah so I will put this into fast forward mode um, I'm just going to use a pencil to sketch in like the initial shape and then chalk pastels from then and I will see you at the end of the video okay so I'm putting up my reference photos and I will make sure I link those below in the description and I'm just going to sketch out the initial shape and I did it really lightly so you can't see it so apologies for that. And I'm just putting in the middle of the feather there with that um, like hard chalk pastel. That's really nice to put in nice sharp points because um, because of its points. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm just putting in like a few of the feathery bits and trying to get that teardrop shape um, right at the top. That teardrop shape, especially like the part with the purple in it, um, I did struggle with quite a bit so you would you'll see that I work on that a lot um, throughout the video but thankfully I was able to get it looking how I want and so I'm just blocking in color especially at the top that's where there's more solid color um, with the more fine bits I'm just trying to keep it really loose and make it look as unplanned as possible since it's supposed to be a feather um, and maybe like the breeze is hitting it or something and I'm just adding in like Quite a few shades of blue, um, a few shades of like teal and kind of aqua colour, uh, some purple, 
brown as you can see quite a bit of brown and as well as a nice bright um kind of lime green and i'm going in with this um i think it's called a blending stub and i'm just blending some of that color together especially at the top of the feather and some of those um nice thin bits um just to give it a bit of definition and just change it up a little bit i, I didn't blend every bit of the feather though um i did want it to look a little bit interesting so it have like different textures and whenever you blend or if you've like put a lot of color down on your page you get this kind of dust from the chalk pastels so it's good don't blow it off you don't want to breathe that in so just knock it into a bin so i did just um knock it into a bin so you can see it looks a bit lighter because now i've removed that kind of surface dust and i'm going in again working on that teardrop part blending and adding and blending again um and yeah so it was a little back and forth with this one and i did struggle a little bit more than i thought i would i'm really out of practice when it comes to chalk pastels um yeah so what i did find is um i wasn't able to add highlights how i wanted um i can't really go in with a white pastel like how I can with like a white gel pen like I'm used to um so I wasn't able to add the nice bright highlights that I wanted to so I have to learn to not put down too much color just in case I wanted to be a bit brighter but off camera after I finished the video it just wasn't looking right so I did add some black in just a few areas just to add some detail I found that grounded it and made it pop a little bit more and you'll see those in the photos at the end of the video so I did a little bit more blending, um, especially with the middle of the feather. I made it look um, like the join to the middle of the feather and the teardrop part a little bit more seamless. And I added a few more colors to the feather like orange um, to just kind of brighten it up a little bit and some yellow as well. Um, and yeah, so I'm using the soft pastels, especially now since there is a lot more colors I have available. Um, and I am just blending a little bit more just to add a little bit more um, interest. So I'm just signing the page and that is pretty much it. Um, I will be making a um, sleeve out of greaseproof paper so that the chalk pastels don't smudge. You can use a fixative, but um, my hairspray was up in the loft, so I wasn't going to get it at that time. Um, but I can use it later on. So I will talk to you at the end of the video and I'll see you again soon. Okay, so I'm all done. Um, I thought I would stop now. I I wish I could have added like some more highlights and stuff but it's not really showing up and the rule is I can't go in with any other mediums otherwise I would have used my um, white gel pen but I'm happy with how it looks I did struggle with this bit a lot um, but once I did some more blending and stuff and added some more I was happy with that um, it doesn't look exactly like the reference photo um, I didn't think it would anyway I'll probably add my own kind of thing so like I added some orange and stuff to brighten it up but yeah, but apart from that, I'm really happy with it. Um, I just folded up this greaseproof paper um, that I'll stick over later. I'll just use some um, masking tape to stick down the edges and I'll just cut this bit down a bit so it fits a bit better, like this little sleeve here. Um, and yeah, so if you do anything with pastels, please do like pop some tips and tricks below because I am very new to this um, especially when it comes to oils I can use all the um, help I can get and you can also like share your creations as well especially if you're following along with the challenge journal um, if you're sharing it please do share on my Facebook group because I would love to see what you make and if you're sharing on Instagram you can tag me or um, put the hashtag like challenge art journal on it and all those links are below for my Facebook and my Instagram and any other social medias. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and don't forget to click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I want to thank my subscribers who are sticking with me. That really uh, means a lot to me and every view is important to me. So thanks again for watching and I hope you join me again for another arty adventure. Bye!